dashboard we are going to use in our environments so name is ktes lens okay this is a kubernetes dashboard okay and it is a very good than Kuber, uh, in build Kubernetes dashboard and that is we are using so here I am going to show that how to add our Kubernetes cluster in KTS lens so what you have to do first you have to go to the, this site KTS lens dot dev download click on download depend upon your OS okay you have to download this KTS lens okay lens app okay download the setup install it okay so here i have already installed on my system here here i had let's i will delete this one so <coughs> what we have to do click on add cluster okay here select config select here custom option add your cluster configuration file so where you will get a cluster configuration file type command ls hyphen a okay what is ls hyphen a if you want to show hidden files okay. here is my dot cube okay. go to the dot cube directly cd dot you okay. do the ls you will see this cache or config display the config file using the cat command cat config okay. this is your cluster configuration file copy this out the configuration from the api version Open the KTS lens and paste here. Okay, this is my cluster configuration file. Click on add clusters. It was your first time message. Click on reconnect. So, so my cluster is created here you can see the my all the nodes all the information first time it will show this message so you have to add the prometheus compression okay <coughs> so if you want to show graphically what is my what are the my nodes okay this is my workloads what are the my current pods these are my current pods okay now we have created this config map pod secret pod okay then deployment you can see the deployments demand set then config map what are my config map okay so we had created this example config map then secrets you can display secrets resource quotas then networking services what are the my current services endpoints ingresses then storage you can show the show the storage types okay let's check persistent volume okay nothing is there then you can check the namespace what are the current namespaces in my in my kubernetes clusters or many other feature also you can enter into your pod from GUI also to enter into pod select the pod for example let's select our example config map or anyone pod environment click on this one here you have the option 
cell logs you can check the logs also as i discussed that if anyone said that my application or microservice is not running so you can check the logs here click on the logs here you can display you can see the here logs if you want to enter into prod from the gui here is the cell option you can connect pod Can do the commands. We type the commands or see the file types. Less. Okay, in your pod, these are the some directories are project. Okay, like this is this is Jiva. You can also use this Jiva. It is a very good and it is a very good alternatives for the traditional Kubernetes dashboard. 